So this is it. This is this is my video. Uh, you know, of the flaming sea art that I did in 2011. God, it's it's, it's kind of hard to believe that this is a 10 year old art piece. Uh, you know, so when I sent this thing in, I was in a selection process. So. You know, the Conan O'Brien people, uh, they, they had 10,000 entries, right? And they had to condense it down to 100 that they really thought represented, you know, Conan O'Brien. And for some reason, I thought Conan O'Brien was easy to draw because... Well, for one, I'm a redhead, right? And uh, I thought, well, and and when I when I did this Conan art piece, I I, I, I kind of took it as a comedians dare. They they were having this open call, and these these comedians. There's there was actually two comedians that kind of kind of coaxed me into it. And, you know, I was I was getting out of comic books for a little bit, you know, so I worked for uh, Radio Comics, right? Radio C O M I X, and then Antarctic Press. And what I did was I just like made it, you know, primary colors, right? And zoom, zoom out of that. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, so that was, that was a medium size art piece that they sent me, medium size, right, and, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, so this, this art piece was like on Juxtapose magazine online, right, it's on, uh, all sorts of websites, you know. I had to, I had to search kind of high and low, right, to find this 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 art piece. And the main guy that was uh, the the Lego artist, Nathan Sawara, right? Butcher that name up. <laughs> okay, Nathan Sawara, Nathan Sawara was the main guy and they showed his uh, Lego Conan Flaming Sea I, I never got to go to that exhibition folks you know I've I've never been to New York single day in my life or this this was shown in California right so it was shown in uh, Comic-Con International some some gallery by the main building of Comic-Con International and uh, oh, it, I, I don't know <laughs> but yeah yes uh, this this was shown in San Diego this was shown in San Diego Comic-Con International 2011 the Flaming Sea Exhibition, Conan's Flaming Sea, Conan's Flaming Sea, uh, yeah, and, you know, actually, I screwed this piece up <laughs> because of the background, this, this piece took me about, I'm, I'm gonna say seven days, so, it, it took me about a week to do and you know you you, you sent it in to uh, Team Coco right Team Coco and you had to go through a selection process well little did I know that they were they were assembling all of these uh, Flaming Sea Conan O'Brien based art pieces and <laughs> and this got in uh, where did it get in? yeah 
yeah, I, yeah so that's that's it I mean that's that's all it is so that's that's my second attempt at the Conan art that's that's my second attempt you know I I did a digital online version that was smaller so what I had to do was I had to go back into the art piece I only had like two days to do the art piece right and I screwed up the background I I think the online version of this looked a lot better because it had more uh, green in it right you know, uh, on, on some of these, you, you saw the Mary Jane belt. I didn't do that. But if I would have gone back in time and space, I think I would have put that on there. But everything else is kind of accurate to the to to that that thing back in the day. So uh, scroll down here. Uh, so that's my flaming sea oven mitt that they sent me in the box by by my Eddie Munster Butch Patrick uh, uh, thing. Let's get in on this. So they sent me this, right? So this is the oven mitt that they sent me. It says it says the flaming sea on it, right? And, uh, <laughs> says TBS, TBS, very funny, very funny, <laughs> TBS is very funny, you know, I enjoyed doing this art piece, you know, it's not my favorite of the Conan pieces that I did, you know, but the Flaming Sea was kind of the gateway of all the other art pieces I did later on. This is this is more like a commercial art piece for me. You know, I I have a dual art degree. You know, so my my degree in in art is based off of like commercials, right? Television. And this 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 assignment just made so much sense to me at the time because I was kind of bouncing back and forth between uh, uh, art assignments or whatnot, you know, and uh, he's, I don't know, when, when, when I look at it now, 10 years later, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of like I, I, I guess I did throw in some Sam Keith type Max references, right, because first thing I was ever published in was the Max. Uh, the max letter columns, right? Then I was with uh, Radio Comics and Antarctic Press, and I kind of threw those influences in there somewhat. But I don't know. I I, I look at it now. And I say, yeah, man. I just I just tried to churn it out, you know. Whenever I start on an art piece or a drawing, right? It's like, I just, I, I drew it, draw it, scan it in, you know, do, do the digital painting on a Photoshop, and that's, that's how I do it, you know. So what, a, what, what, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I did. I mean, you know, that's what I did. It's not my absolute best, or it's not my absolute favorite, but, you know, 10,000 entries, and all they, all they accepted was 100, because they didn't tell us in advance uh, that they were going to do this, this special thing, but then I, I, I got enthusiastic, I was like, wow really you, you, you're gonna you're gonna do this and so uh, you know Conan here has the beard right he's got the beard should put in that Mary Jane leaf but I left in the the silly stockings 
<laughs> and of course he had to have that spoon thing, that spoon weapon or whatever it was it was called. I don't know. I I like the online version of this better. But this was the print ready version of, of, of this art that I did. <laughs> Gosh, it, I see this art piece every single day, folks. Even even in the pandemics of 2020, 21. Especially so. Oh, okay. All right. All right, the 10th year anniversary of my Conan art pieces that I did for uh, the Conan O'Brien people and the TBS people and the Ted Turner people and you know I I'm 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 just gonna put this video up because uh, yeah <laughs> and I'm gonna do anything to me I hope for showing this these off you know it's part of my personal collection because you know I'm the one that created these art pieces and I had to sign these huge contracts saying oh well you better not do this and that but you know you know the the, the Ted Turner people have the actual copyrights and everything else on it, but I, I, I doubt Jane Fonda's gonna like <laughs> sack me in the legs or some crap like that. <laughs> you know, Ted Turner will sit sick Barbarella on me or some shit. <laughs> that's that's never gonna happen, folks. I mean, you know, but yeah, it's been. It's been 10 years since I've done these art pieces. So this is the second art piece. Uh, this is the second art piece that I did in 2011 for the Conan people. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna slur my speech a little bit. <laughs> oh well, but you know, I wanted to get this on camera because you know, I wake up to this art piece every single day, and uh, it's a huge art piece, you know. A uh, company in New York, they were called D-Brain. Uh, uh, when I sent this art piece in, uh, uh, one of their main executives that was working on the frame stuff was like, dude, this is phenomenal, you know, this, you know. And this thing took up like a its own wall, right? Took up its own wall space, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, gosh, it's been ten years since I've done this. It's been a it's been a complete decade, roughly, complete decade. Gosh, it just seems to me like I did this piece like. Three weeks ago, four weeks ago, maybe last month. Yeah, it's, it seems like, I don't know, you know, time is timeless, right? I did this art piece and <laughs> it was inspired by uh, the, the director Ozu. And it was also inspired by, uh, of course, you know, late night with Johnny Carson, you know, you can see that, hopefully, pick that up and uh, seeing this, you know, so this is inside my place, this, this is inside the bed, the bedroom where I sleep, and I wake up to this art piece every single day, and it's a big art piece, you know, and I guess the people that print Oprah magazine, right? Uh, they're the ones that printed the, this on on the actual paper, supposedly. Yeah, it's a big art piece, man. <laughs> yeah. So I got 
I get my six uh, Conan pop pieces right by it. I'm I'm not even supposed to have that art piece there, folks. Because <laughs> it's 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 on a step, right? <laughs> I'm not even supposed to have that art piece there, folks. It's 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 on a fire exit escape in my my place, right? How, how many how many times have I had to move that art piece for <laughs> managers? I had to I have had to move that art piece numerous times. You know, it's not supposed to be there, but you know. <laughs> But it's there now. <laughs> you know, managers don't seem to mind it there now like like they used to, right? <laughs> and you know, in the pandemics era, you know they they come in less and less, you know, for you know mechanical reasons and whatnot and. Managers thought it was a, a decent art piece before, and you know they thought, oh well, you know. <laughs> Little did they know, right, that I I made the art piece. I just send it to the TBS people, right? You know, selection process. I was in a selection process, and. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is coming up kind of dark. I don't know why. It's the light. You know, my I I have absence of light in my my bedroom. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk about this piece, eh? <laughs> Gee, look at that! Uh, look at that. Try, try to zoom in. Uh, yeah, see that hair? Looks the same as the one that I did. Good, good thing I gave Funko the ideas there. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna talk about this piece. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of not in the mood because I'm. Scrambled for brains here, uh, yeah. But that's it. That's that's what they sent me. Ted Turner people from Atlanta sent me that thing. That's a big art piece. That was for uh, Conan NYC, New York City. Conan New York City. Uh, Team Coco. They were called Team Coco. Yeah, I'm gonna go into that art piece. Yeah, so that's a, that's a big resolution art piece. I don't even have the the computer that I made it for anymore. Yeah, but uh, it's more indicative of my commercial art because I didn't add my patented Micmo slashy signature. But I, I know what it's based off of. It's based off of, like, well, it's based off of a few things, really. So this art that I did, it's based off of a few things. It's based off of, uh, you know, late night. You know. Yeah, I, I, I based it off of several things. I based it off of, like, you know, Conan was the heir to Johnny Carson, so it looks Johnny Carson-ish. Uh, I, I, I tried to get that in the composition. Well, I did get that in the composition. Uh, so it's, it's based off of a few things. It's based off of, like, 
Johnny Carson late night television you know because I was born in the 70s so I watched a lot of Johnny Carson when I was a little kid little child and uh, you know Ozu the director Ozu so uh, you see this right here uh, you know the worm is based off of like Richard Scarry right so I zoom in on that and you see the apple right and the apple is uh, well the apples significant to uh, New York I've never been to New York so you know you you think New York you think cities right so I put a bunch of like skyscraper looking things like mushrooms on the mushrooms and the C stands for Conan of course it does which is also indicative of of the Funko, right? I'm zooming on that. Uh, so you you see the C in the superhero Conan that came later. Uh, I guess I guess Funko better thank me for uh, you know coming up with that because I'm I'm pretty sure this was a reference for those folks. And, uh, yeah, that, that's what it was. It was, uh, it was the, the thing where Conan says, it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> and so he's cross-eyed in it, right? So I drew him like that, and then I photoshopped it. You know, so it's, it's high resolution. When, when I did this art piece, it was like, uh, 600 DPI, right? So you get the camera on a, on like a tank treads sort of thing, right? And, you know, so you think the Ozu pillow shot, so it's, it's two things. It's, it's Johnny Carson inspired and Ozu, but I put other things in it, other, other references. Uh, okay, the worm get on this one. see the worm uh, that's uh, that's that's uh, Richard Scarry reference <laughs> I didn't I didn't quite do the hat right <laughs> but scroll down my website is on there so it's mcmoart at deviantart.com so what they did was they showed this art on you know like CNN and uh, who's who's the one that printed this it was De Brain De Brain in New York and I guess if I remember right my mind's such a clutter <laughs> okay uh, zoom in on that right I, I put kind of a fuzzy tail on that because uh, it's it's my reference to a comic book that I was in. I was in 17 issues of Furlough for Radio Comics, Radio C-O-M-I-X. And uh, yeah, I wake up to this thing every single day. <laughs> So this was the second art piece that I did for uh, the Conan people, Conan O'Brien. Yeah, it's, it's a big art piece. It's there's no uh, uh, what am I wanting to say? There's no glass on it on the top of it. So what you're seeing is what you're seeing. No glass on it, and they probably put no glass on it. Because, you know, if you if you're shooting it with a with the director's camera or whatever, it's like you know you would get that reflection off of it. So they showed this off at uh, what is it called? 
Columbus Center, New York City, where, uh, you know, the, the, the preacher David Jeremiah is at now. So I guess, I guess it's like a shopping mall type place. I've, I've never been up there. I've never been to New York one day in my life, at least for now. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's zoom in on that. Uh, okay, I got, I got the fun co, Conan O'Brien's. Never won a Conan pop from their raffles, their online raffles, right? But, yeah, I, I have six of those. Okay. Yeah, I really like that one. That's, that's really cool. Uh, Orange Conan. Yeah, I just, I just really think that. Can you look at that, the, the Conan, uh, pop, and uh, look at that. Look at that. So, you look at the illustration on that, and uh, the C is really similar to the C I put in that Conan New York art piece, right? Uh, and the hairs pretty much the same color. I'm pretty sure Funko had the references to all of our art pieces because you know that they they had they had to have done a color match because they churn out those Funkos so much. You know they, they come out with Funkos every every single week. Sometimes two or three times a week, I bet. Uh, so you go over here, right? Zoom out. Same color hair. Uh, same same colors. Look at that. Look at that. So I put purple in that in the Photoshop, right? You get over here, and you know you you look at the cape on that. Look I'm, look at the cape. It's the same same purple, same purple. Wow, that's that's wild. <laughs> well, Funko better thank me one of these days for uh, <laughs> be, being their inspiration. You know when I did that art piece. Okay, it was it was it was 2011. It was the second half of 2011. I got this art piece, and it was sent to me by the Ted Turner people, right? And uh, <laughs> this thing was at my door, and it took up half of the door, you know. So it was it was like that, you know. So, think think the door's like that, okay? That's my door. So it took took half of the door, and it was in this big old box. I st I still have the box. Uh, I'm 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 gonna get that on camera here. <laughs> the box is right by my bed where I sleep. <laughs> you know, so, sometimes I send art or prints or whatever to people, you know, friends, family, whatever. Uh, <laughs> and I still have the box that this these Conan pieces came in. And I, <laughs> I still have the bubble wrap, right? So I still use the bubble wrap. Not, not every day, not all the time, but just sometimes I, I use it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to put that on camera. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So this was the actual boxes that the Conan pieces came in. So the first one was the medium size Conan art piece, right? You know, the, the Flaming Sea art piece. And the second one was Conan... New York, coming in New York City. <laughs> Still have those boxes by my bed. <laughs> T 
10 years later, I still have them. And so we're, we're going to get on these. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Prestige, right? <laughs> the prestige of a Conan artist. And I still sleep with these things by my bedside. <laughs> Ten years later, well, you know, I salvaged these boxes, right? And sometimes I have to send stuff flat to people, you know, celebrities and uh, non non celebrities, right? Yep, that's that's all it is. That's that's it. Uh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> It is what it is, folks. All right. Uh, this is this is the drawing uh, book that I use. Uh, that's all that is. It's just a book that uh, you know my ex roommate left me. You know he was basically like my Judas, so to speak, and uh, I just book ever since so uh, let's uh, look at these guys uh, yeah this is how the flaming sea on my end got started okay okay Bruce Tim was the one who uh, originally drew this you know and, and they showed a promo on Conan O'Brien about you know how he was drawn and how he originated so I, I uh, did some floppy shoes <laughs> and, uh, and this is what it looks like before you before I scan it in and uh, yeah that's that's basically it so that was purpled purpleized uh, and I just kind of went with the the color index codes that were on the original one that Bruce Tim did up, and uh, so I I turned it in, and it was a medium size art piece. That's that's why you see in the thing it's it's a. Uh, well, it's, it's roughly eight and a half by 11, but I think it was a little smaller. And uh, like I said, I, I, I like the uh, online version of the Conan art piece a lot better than I liked, uh, you know, the second print ready. I didn't think the second print ready version of Flaming Sea was too great, <laughs> but it was what it was. It, it is what it is, and, uh, and, uh, you know, I, I drew on regular copy paper, and, uh, I, I had to dig these out of, you know, many multiple drawings and sketches and, you know, all sorts of stuff, and underneath, we get to the second one get to the second one so uh, this is basically how uh, I started on uh, it looks good in New York so this is this is what it looks like before you color it so uh, you know I was basically going for things like um, Richard Scarry uh, Johnny Carson, you know, late night with Johnny Carson, and uh, you know, Ozu films, you know, the the guy who made a uh, 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 a Tokyo Story, Ozu, and uh, so zoom in on that, you know, so you can kind of see the fine details before it's all colored. And that's all it is. That's all it is, folks. Uh, so uh, when I looked at the back of this, it kind of bled through, you know, I was using uh, regular copy paper back in uh, 2011. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's it. And, you know, so kind of bled through there a little bit. 
over time and space. And it, it looks pretty cool, man. I mean, you know, I, I think it looks better colored. You know, I wasn't going to send it to the, the, the Team Coco people like this, or, you know. Probably would have gotten overlooked, of course. So I, 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 I colored it the same way I colored my, uh, well, when I used to color my my Antarctic press stuff. And uh, go back to this one. That one was, that one was pretty simple, <laughs> you know. So let's zoom in on him a little bit. You know, I kind of made the made it where you see no eyes so it's like shades right and Conan's got the beard because you know they had a writer strike back then and, you know all these late night people were growing out their beards or whatnot and, you know the spoon the spoon kinda goes off into the the corner there but I found some other stuff too that I did that was uh, rejected Conan art pieces, right? So let's show you folks this. Let's show you this. Uh, <laughs> I did this one of La Bamba, right? <laughs> and it's 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 kind of goofy. It's kind of you know cartoony or whatnot. You know caricature artist like. Um, but I, I think I called this uh, La, La Bamba's Demented Trombone or something like that. Or it's, it's 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 up on my DeviantArt website. And it was the follow up to the Conan New York, uh, you know, the It Looks Good one, and they they never accepted this one. <laughs> but that's okay because you know. And this, you know, I did the Photoshop, and it's supposed to say uh, BCB, like basic cable band, BCB, and uh, what did I call that? Like, like La Bamba's trombone, something or another sort of thing, right? That was a rejected uh, Conan Chicago piece. Uh, and it was supposed to get on some vending machines, right? And never did. And I was like, well, you know, asked ask one of my friends. They were like, oh, well, I, I remember the Conan New York City one, and I remember the Flaming Sea. But this one kind of was kind of like, okay. It was the third attempt with the Conan art, and... They, I think they were just looking more for, like, the Conan O'Brien stuff in general, you know. And I thought, well, you know, La Bamba, he's Conan-based to me, of course. <laughs> and, you know, just never made it, never made it to the cutting floor, so to speak. And I have another reject one, uh... You know, Triumph the Insult comic dog. Okay, this this one was supposed to be like, uh, like, like the Flaming Sea, but I called it the Broiling Tea. The Broiling Tea. <laughs> it's just like, you know, he's. You can kind of see his face, and you know, he says, "For, for me to whoop on," you know, but. <laughs> Another one that got overlooked by the Conan folks. Then, you know, after, after a little bit, I guess uh, they were like, yeah, we're, we're, we're going we're, we're, we're to bring back Triumph, the insult comic dog, on TBS, right? So this, this one never made it. <laughs> But that's okay, you know. Half and half, right? I don't know. I I, I like the latter stuff that I did for uh, the Conan folks, right? Uh, yeah, I, I, I like that a lot better. Uh, but take it as you will.
you know. Yep. So, for the first time, I am showing this on one of my videos. <laughs> so that's about it. So, yep. There you go.
It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> yeah, whatever.